when one gets a heart attack, usually there's what we call the classical symptoms. And the, the, the one thing one should mention is that one out of five people who get heart attacks, the first sign is sudden collapse and death. One out of five. That's a high number because you're talking about 20%. And a, it is um, therefore important to know that the most important thing is prevention because the first sign that you're having a heart attack may be the last sign. So it's very important to be aware of the prevention so that you don't get there. Now, assuming that uh, that does not happen and therefore you have time to develop other signs, what do people feel? They feel very severe, significant discomfort in the middle of the chest. This can vary. It can vary from you know, mild discomfort. Yeah. Others say it is the worst discomfort they have ever felt. Others feel pressure. They feel like an elephant was sitting on my chest. Okay? That discomfort is usually in the middle but spread around both sides of the chest almost equally. Sometimes people think that when you have a heart, having a heart attack, the pain has to be on the left side. No, no, no. It is usually. People who have heart they get it in the middle here, almost equally distributed between two sides. Okay? The other significant thing about that pain is that you may feel it in the neck. You feel it in the neck, in the jaw. And it may also come to the arm. And it may be associated with a little bit of nausea, a little bit of uh, feeling like you're going to vomit or lightheadedness. Some people may feel like a little heart flutter. But the most important, I would say the most critical ones are the central chest discomfort, jaw pain, neck, uh, arm pain, and of course feeling a little bit of nausea. If you feel like that, and you know that you have those risk factors we've talked about, then you must tell yourself, hey, I'm probably getting a heart attack, okay? I'm probably taking a heart attack. Those are the usual symptoms.